Welcome back to another night at the museum. I have yet to find that strange cowboy, but I did see an odd elf on a shelf. What do you suppose that was about? I see a computer I want to hack, I see a book I want to take, I see a very annoyingly placed camera that will keep me from doing either of those. I can't use any of these books. I guess I have no choice really but to keep hanging on to them. Now if I'm really lucky, and I'm not, this computer might be the key to turning off all the goddamn cameras which will make my life infinitely easier. Of course, I need to know what these cops plan on doing. Hmm. You were gone for about half a minute. So easy just to end you. Gotta hack this stuff and turn them off. I'm just I'm about to get shot in. Yep. How did you even know I was here? This is exactly what I- ah, oh, right, jumping. Jumping makes it wrong. Jumping makes it all wrong. And now I'm fleeing and running around for my life. You know, I could always just destroy the cameras. That works too. How did the door open before he turned the corner? Also, you owe me. Well, I guess I didn't notice because all the cops sort of look the same, but there are two that go into that room. So that's fun.
Velociraptor and then... And now we gotta go with the cameras. Huzzah. Surely he won't notice a thing or suspect that I could have possibly turned off the cameras. That would just be crazy. You're smarter than the other cops. You're still nervous about me being around here. Key code. I don't know the numerical numerical code for that yet. I see sparklies though. Room key and a computer that's in dire need of hacking. Let me in. Let me in. Analysis to complete. Estimate time of completion five hours. I hate my job. FYI, I'll be showing Dr. Jansen, Johansson around personally. I don't think he'd prefer not to be pestered, but the junior staff of court. Of course, if you have a question, I'll try to ask it for you. Relax, Pam. I had to move the station to another office. Oh, and it told me to say hi. In keeping with good security practices, we have changed the code for Area B2. 2358, effective immediately. I encourage all of you to change your email passwords as well if you haven't done so in the last three months. Tribal fetish. Someone's getting closer. Just on the other side of that wall, if I had to guess. Fish is gonna like this. This is so much easier without this camera's working. Was it? 2358? magical treasure just laying around. Any of us, all of us, we're one step away from being a superhero. All we have to do is bash in to a museum and loot the place. Oh my god, I see sparklies. Oh. 
Stay holding. Come on, man. It's funny. Hey, stop right there. Really? It's still funny. I need you to stop shooting me in the back. I'm trying to do some great hacking here, man. Freeze what? Who are you talking to? In there by yourself. You always were. Don't worry about it. Except. Well, where'd you keep the sarcophagus, man? It's in a place. With top mat. Oh, a vampire on the other side of that wall. What kind of place? What kind of men? Top. Men. So, not only is the Ankara and Sarcophagus in here, but the Ark of the Covenant might be as well. Let's try to avoid opening that one. Didn't turn out so well the last time. Ah, and no Sarcophagus is to be had. Unfortunate. I can't understand why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. This city's not that dull. I beg to differ. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Beckett. I'm, I'm an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. Did you stare at the box? Sometimes I stare at things for hours. Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous, superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. The G word makes my thoughts bright. No, I think I asked them that already. The old ones, tell me they are not real. Please. The antediluvians? No one I know has ever met one. But each bloodline or clan supposedly traces its origin to an antediluvian. Some say these grandsires still exist into the present. But then, kindred and kind believe a lot of strange things. Well, the difference is, we actually can live forever, Beckett. Humans, not so much. Let's ask him about Gehenna anyways. Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred. It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the Antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. The Dark Father. Where? Cain, who I assume you mean, is the biblical first kindred and founder of the He's mythological the first city, Enoch. A place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. Hmm. I want to 
Tonight, hear more stories about the Thin Kindred. Thin Bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? That would be a source of interest, in my opinion. Vampires that can't embrace, but they can have children. Those are the kind of rumors that I would want to find out about. And the kind of things you would think a gentleman scholar like Beckett here would know about. Tell me the other signs, so I can peel my eyes. What prophecy doesn't have vague, apocryphal signs? Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. I want to disagree with you, but I don't know. As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Kindred believed in these stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. Don't I know and it. kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. A self-realized Gehenna warrants more vigilance than a god-induced one, don't you agree? Such is my argument, which so frequently falls on deaf ears. Ah, just like scientists in real life. Your stories are a buffet for my mind. How long did it take to prepare the feast? For 300 years I've been trying to determine the function of our existence, the kindred's role in the world. I'm not content to attribute it to some act of supernatural biblical vengeance. We exist for a reason. And if it takes another 300, I'll figure it out. Any thoughts? Cool. I don't know what increased, but cool. Antelopes exist. Why not vampires? Can't say I've heard that one before. Look at my head and... Look at my head nod. I can do this until I fall down. Remember, the truth won't be told in time. It will be told by us. Well, my work here is stolen away into the night. Think I'll do the same. If you find the box, please put it in the night deposit slot of the tower. Thanks. Seriously, what stats increased? And antelopes exist, why not vampires, is my way of saying evolution, I assume. Ooh, scholarship. Research 5. I can finally read some of those damn books. In a melee of two to read that book. Which I most certainly do not have. But I got another point in Brawl. That's something. Oh, level 4 Dementation. Victim goes insane and attacks at random for 30 seconds and then drops dead. That's going to be fun to toy with. Anyways, what should we be doing? Yeah, let's tell Pisha about the horrible uh, talisman. Let me take a close-up look at that thing. I fed a statue. You can tell just by holding it, there's something definitely odd and supernatural within it. It's a shame I can't make use of it. I bet it gives some crazy powers. Then again, I'm sure whatever item Pisha is about to give us will also give crazy powers. Pisha, did you clean up the hospital yet? Nope, still gotta walk through everything. Oh, what am I... 
I am I've been tripping around on a bedpan. Joy. I'd remark on bank crawling, but honestly, we all know it's at least half my life at this point. No longer a fourth, no longer a third. It's half my life. Or on life. So tripping on these two. Honestly, Pisha, you can go around and shut all the doors behind me, but you can't be bothered to make the route to get to you that much easier. I gotta run through this gauntlet every time I want to see the spider. Or maybe she, Pisha does this to dissuade people from actually going down here, so she doesn't have to rip them apart. On the other hand, I'm sure she's hungry. You will not believe what I have for you. Yes. yes. The shrunken man for you, widow. Yes, this is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the odious chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. Well, there's only so much blood around this town. I mean, holy hell, the thing is going to swell to burst in two minutes after I step outside. It's an oily tangle of fleshly blasphemy. Thank you. Another question. Yes. Does the widow wish to trap death in her web? Death is the ultimate dilemma, and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. That's That touches a bit too close to home, Pisha. I feel personally attacked by that. Hmm. The life of the Black Widow bores me. I am gone. Pisha. We're gonna cut the video here. I'm just gonna pick it up when I get to the front of the uh, the tower, so you don't have to go and be watch me go back through this little maze of hers. Anyways, farewell, vampire.